Hello guys, Leeway Previs here, and as you'll probably have noticed, we've gone for a little bit of a change. I'm now no longer sitting on the brown couch, although it is still here, as you can probably see from that. But I've chosen to sit on the brand new seat we have, the black click clack. Long story, not in the mood to tell you. Alright, so... Today's show, I'm actually going to dedicate it to the great irony of logic, or lack thereof, as it seems to be in this world. In, and one such occasion is a guy who froze to death in the middle of a heat wave. Yes, I'm not kidding you. A guy in Taiwan has actually frozen to death in a refrigeration unit in the middle of Taiwan's great heat wave. Okay, yes, it's not as illogical as it, as it, as I originally put to you, but it is a little bit strange. I mean, he basically, he's just walked into a, refriger a refrigerator, as in one of the big scale refrigeration units and just basically sat in there. Now apparently the report goes that he suffered hypothermia which caused him to fall asleep and yeah gradually die. So yeah I can kind of understand um, why he'd want to go into a refrigeration unit. I mean I used to work at few places that had fridges and freezers and that type of stuff, and in the middle of a hot day, it can be a bit of a, um, a reprieve, especially when you're looking at 37 degree heat. Now, here in Australia, it can actually reach the 40s, so somewhere cold is always a benefit, like a fridge. So, I can I kind of understand why he went into the fridge. However, at some point, you'd have to start thinking, okay, i got to get out. Okay, further on illogic is the, Victor the case in Victoria of um, a girl who's been left with her heroin-using, sex sexually molest molesting father because her mother, who is also addicted to heroin and um, in the line of sex, in this case prostitution, is not a, a suitable parent in respect to the father. Now, here's where logic kind of loses it. I mean, You've got a father who has molested kids and is on heroin. And then you have a mother who has faced court on prostitution charges as well as being addicted to heroin. In actual fact, she left the labour ward on this poor girl's birth, on the day of a poor girl's birth, to get some heroin and shoot up. I'm trying to figure out here, what's the lesser of two evils? I mean, if you leave her with the mother, she gets exposed to sex. If you leave her with the father, she's also going to be exposed to sex, but in a more intimate capacity. I'm not going to say it's legal, but it's going to be intimate. And I'm very concerned. I mean... In all reality, she should have actually been left with the government. I mean, despite everything that we said about docs and all that type of stuff, even they are a little bit better than these two parents, both separately and together. Now, the next one that I'm going to bring up for you is a very, very good one, and I like this. A study in... Belgium has brought to the attention the fact that girls actually like video games. 
Yes, I know, that's nothing new. But what is new is the fact that the games that they've... that are usually marketed to them are... I think the only word I could use is... pussy. As in, they're very, very weak in regards to... in relation to what the girls actually want which apparently involves a, does involve a little bit of violence. The study actu actually shows that while the girls would like vi their games to have a little bit more edge to them, they want the violence to be at least within reasonable bounds and possibly even a little bit funny. Okay, so Call of Duty, yes, they'll take that. Um, fear and other such games that just promote gratuitous violence, yeah, not so much. The last thing that, they w that I'm going to bring up is the entire thing involving our new PM, our first female one, hallelujah, Julia Gillard, and the opposition leader, Tony Abbott, who hasn't changed yet, um, and about the Asylum Seeker solution. I'm going to say this now. The, they're basically bringing up fairly similar plans, if not the same. The only difference is where they go. Like, Abbott wants them over in Nauru and other Pacific Islands. Julia is looking more towards East Timor and New Zealand. Now, that I'm a little bit iffy about. Alright, basically they're saying, if you're going to send a boat to Australia, be prepared to be turned right back around and be sent somewhere else. And it's one problem that I've, it's one thing that I've had a problem with for quite some time. If you remember the Asylum Seekers video I did some months ago, you would understand that. If you actually saw the Asylum Seeker video that I made a few months ago, you would also know the one thing which I would like the government to actually implement. And believe it or not, the opposition leader, Tony Abbott, has finally suggest has finally figured out that that's what we should use. He's actually made a suggestion of um, local groups, as in Australian groups, being allowed to sponsor refugees to bring them to Australia. And I'd be guessing they'd be bringing them in legally. Now, I'm a little bit happy about that, but I don't know what they're planning to put in place for this. So, as I say, stay tuned to this channel, and I will... T hopefully there will be a little bit more information brought up, because I would love to see what Tony Abbott's got in mind for this. Um, and, of course, there's the fairly logical thing, well, obvious and logical thing of, if you haven't got your papers, don't bother coming because you'll basically be denied refugee status. Okay. <clears throat> That's my four items for the for the day. Now, time I ask you guys a few a couple of questions. One, what do you think of the 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 federal court's decision to grant the Victorian girl's father um custody. Do you think they've made the right choice or do you think the government should actually be taking this girl into their, into its own care make, and make her a ward of the state? And two, if there was one thing you could change about your government's, your country's government's um, immigration laws, what would it be? As always, leave your responses in the comments below. Yes, I'm pointing downwards again, which is brilliant. Now, if you want to ask me any questions or suggest anything for me to put on the show, this box here, just above the um, finger, that's just click on that. It'll send you straight to the message to the message service to YouTube's message service, and you can message me through that. 
as always, click the subscribe button. I think it's up there still, hopefully. Um, and, yeah, for, also if you want to check out any of the past videos, which I suggest you do, boh, the list is there on the side, I think. You might have to check that. On the front page it will be there, on this video page, not so sure. So, until then, my name is Leeway Previs, you've been watching Ben, and I'll see you next time.